that you are the self, Brahman, ought to be realized. You are not an embodied individual, nor any kind of thing. That you are the self is what should be known. And only the self itself is capable of knowing. No other can do so. To realize yourself as the self and thereby cease to imagine yourself to be something other is accomplished as the Maharshi has instructed by self-inquiry. When you inquire to know who you are, that knowledge belongs only to the self. It cannot belong to the ego I, for the ego I is unreal. And the unreal cannot be the possessor of the real, nor can it be a cause of the real. The unreal does not cause the real. Conversely, the real does not cause the unreal. Thus, the Gita has said, the real ever is, the unreal never comes to be. Therefore, there are not two of you, an ego I and a real I, an absolute self of the nature of Brahman and some other kind of self who can be an experiencer with birth, death, and all that comes in between. If there seem to be two, the absolute self and yourself, God and I, then following precisely the Maharshi's instructions, inquire into the nature of this I. That your existence is singular is indisputable. If that singular existence is misperceived or wrongly assumed to be an individual, there will be samsara, there will be maya. If an inquiry is made into the nature of that individual existence, its individuality being purely illusory vanishes, for only the unreal can vanish. And what remains is pure existence, which has been existent the entire time, one without anything else whatsoever. So then when you inquire and know yourself, you do not realize or make more real something that was not perfectly real before. Rather, reality, which is the self, comprehends itself and abides self-revealed. Consider deeply within yourself what you regard as your own definition. Ignorance seems to prevail only due to lack of inquiry. If you inquire into what you regard as your definition, what is false will be seen as such. And ignorance, known as ignorance, ceases to exist. So inquire to know who you are.
discounting as any kind of definition for yourself. Anything that is objective to you, such as your body, your senses, the mind. Discarding as a definition for yourself anything that is sporadic, that is not continuously present without any interruption for all eternity. Discarding as a definition for yourself anything that is merely a product of perception or conception. What you come to know by such inquiry is not apart from you. This is why the Maharshi has stated that the only answer to the inquiry is the very nature of the inquirer. If you so inquire and know yourself, what remains is non-dual, being consciousness bliss, without beginning and without an end. As long as there seems to be any degree of another identity, inquire more deeply, more thoroughly. If your identity is known as it is, it is the reality which is indivisible, conditionless, unborn, and indestructible. Put the question deeply, interiorly, to yourself. Who am I? If you know you are not the body, then none of its activities, qualities, or attributes pertain to you. And you will cease to imagine as if existent an external world. If you know that you are not the mind, then you will not regard yourself as an experiencer of or in any state or mode of mind. You will not regard any thought as bondage, and you will not wake, dream, or sleep. If you know within yourself that you never become an I, that no ego is born, then you realize as a matter of direct experience that nothing is created. If there is no I, there is then no bondage. And the ever-existent reality of your being is itself the very substance of liberation. Therefore, self-knowledge, self-inquiry, do not result in a state that would come and go. For everything that has a beginning has an end. What appears, disappears. Rather, it is the revelation of the ever-existent. Just as the unreal cannot produce the real, the real cannot produce the unreal. So in yourself, 
pure being, consciousness, bliss, what possibly could be the cause of illusion, ignorance, or unhappiness? Find this out within yourself. And if you have a question at any point this morning, feel free to ask. Or if you wish to relate your own experience, please feel free to speak.